welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today you're joining me here in my Philadelphia kitchen where we are going to be cooking up some bottleneck slides. This is in preparation for some upcoming blues slide lessons that I'll be teaching here on the channel. Let's get started. Okay, let's begin by talking about everything that we're going to be needing for this process. Uh, we're going to need a wine bottle, preferably something that can fit on the, whatever finger it is that you use for slide, be it your pinky or your ring finger. We will also need something to cut the glass with. Here I'm going to be using this fancy little um, uh, glass cutter that I got off Etsy, very affordable. I think it was only maybe 20 or 30 bucks. Uh, though you can go to the hardware store and just get yourself a regular old glass scorer. In addition, we will also be needing a bucket or a pot of ice water and also a pot of boiling water Though you could also use a tea kettle. Okay, next we're going to score the neck of the bottle. We have this little contraption here. We're going to take the cork out. Now I'm leaving the label on as it will kind of act as a bit of a guide as far as where I need to cut. Um, pop it in just like that. I'm going to hold this down and turn. And here, the score, as I turn, now you only need to go about once or twice maybe, but I want to make sure that I get a full rotation in. Okay, now that I have a nice score around the neck of the bottle, I am ready to dunk it into the pot of boiling water, heat it up just at that score, and then dunk it into the pot of ice water. That's going to create stress, which should break it right at its weakest point. Okay, we have our water good and hot. It's just about boiling. I don't need it to be going crazy. I'm going to take my bottle, drop it right in, gently, 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 right up to where the score is, not too much past it, and then I'm just going to hold it until it gets nice and hot. Right up against the score. We're going to see if we can get this done in one shot. We're going to give it another minute just to get warmer. Try to hold the camera steady for you guys. Just a few minutes, we'll have ourselves a great bottleneck slide jam with. All right, that should be good. We'll see if we can do this in one shot. About to jump it into the cold water. Now, I did get a bigger pot because I wanted to make sure it was deep enough. Here we go. There it is, the crack. I could probably just kind of give it a little tap and it would just come right off. Sometimes it needs another go in the hot water. I'm just going to tap it against the sides, tap it against the bottom, shake it around a little bit. All right. All right, we're going to go back into the hot water one more time. Now there is some risk that it will fall off as we're moving it. One last time in the hot water. And here we go. Okay, so now we gotta fish this out. We're gonna turn off the, uh, the heat. And grab some tongs, pull out your, uh, your slide. The next thing to do is to cool it down and start sanding it. Okay, so here's where we have ended up. We have a pretty good line. Um, it's definitely not perfect. There's always gonna be some stuff that you have to chip away or sand away. Um, but the ratio of success is about 50%. Half the slides that you do will probably have some stress lines. Probably if you can um, uh, keep the heat source directly on the score, you'll have some better results. But this is kind of like the fastest uh, and most effective way of doing it if you're doing uh, a bunch of slides like I've done today. All right, everyone, thanks so much for checking out this lesson on how to make a bottleneck slide. This one has turned out great. I hope that you'll be safe as you go through this process. I don't want any of you getting hurt out there. Uh, I got plenty more videos coming up, so keep checking back. And of course, please subscribe. My name is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.